Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here, and I know it's been a very long time since I uploaded a video. Um, it's mostly my fault, and I'm just going to be completely honest, I just kind of sort of got tired of doing YouTube in a sense. I wanted a break, uh, and I do apologize about how long the break has been. Um, I, I can't guarantee that I'm coming back like, like, oh, I'm coming back, and like, this is it, like, I'm going to be returning, and da-da-da-da-da, but I can say at least that uh, I... I'm going to try to do a video once in a blue moon. You know, it's just one of those things. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm sort of back and I've been working on my video game room. Uh, this is going to be a video game room tour. Uh, I've been slowly but surely upgrading my video game room to... Um, Get it uh, to get it, a video game room. I've always wanted to have one. You know, a lot of people have video game rooms, and I, I've you know never had one really. So this is my opportunity to get one, or you know, start do do this. Now my video game room is about eighty percent done, not 90 percent done. Uh, I still need a little bit, uh, a lot more stuff, and a lot more items, and everything like that, of course. And I'm always looking for, you know, of course, more games as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour of my video game room. So these are the door, you know, this is the doors. So when we come right in, this is the video game room right here. Um, we're going to do, you know, we're going to start from one end and work our way over. And, but this is pretty much it. This is uh, so, kind of right now the current status of, this, of, of it. So we're going to go right over here first. Now this is a poster from a store that I used to shop at in Oregon, in the Beaverton, Oregon area, called Game Trader. Now, Game Trader, uh, they just are closing their doors. Like, I think in 20, in like what, uh, on the 31st of March, they're closing down. They're shutting their doors after 26, 27 years. So they, I, I went to the store, and I asked them, I go, hey, I want to buy like a poster of yours and stuff like that. Is there any chance I can do that? And they're like, well, we'll sell this one right here for ten dollars so i bought it for ten dollars and i hung it up in the video game room kind of was just a piece of gaming history for myself personally these this wave race right here is actually like on there you know it's not like you know something else but they were like yeah we'll, we'll sell you this poster and you know and, and you can have it and everything like that so I bought it for $10, and I hung it up, and I love it. Uh, you know, it doesn't match the full decorum of my uh, video game room, but that's okay. I also have track lighting up in the corner areas, you know, all over there and over here. Oh, yep. So that right there is an old is a poster I got at Portland Retro actually last year. And I just kind of hung it up on the door just because it was kind of cool. It's, it's got, you know, it's got a ton of characters on it. I, did, I, I used tape to kind of get it up to keep it kind of going. Um, but yeah, I just used tape. I didn't use any, like, I didn't pin it or anything like that. So th this here is a media tower I bought. At, uh, oh, what was it? Off of Facebook? Little Mario, little Mario. He's a shiny Mario. Um. This is a media tower I bought, though, from a guy for, like, I think I got this for, like, 50 bucks. And I just drove over to his house and picked it up. That's a Triforce that lights up. I got a PlayStation 1 in box there, a GameCube in box there. And I got some Amiibos. Some Amiibos. You're going to see Amiibos kind of all throughout the room. That's kind of a big thing I got going on is Amiibos kind of all over the place. And I've got some PS2 titles in here. You know, some, some uncommon stuff, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, I did pick up Nightshade recently. That, that was semi recent. I still gotta get the sticker off of that one a little bit. I got I Ico and Shadow Iso or Ico or Ico or whatever you want to call it and Shadow of the Colossus. Still need a few more armored cores. Uh, I got Destroy All Humans, but I need the second one. Front Mission 4, RPG Maker 3. I gotta get that damn game, you know, GameStop crap. But yeah, um, just some games, Dynasty Tactics 1 and 2, just some odds and ends on, on my PS2, because my PS2 is kind of all over the place, and eventually I will consult, try to consolidate down. I have a few ideas for my Super Nintendo games, and then here's some of my really rare Super Nintendo stuff I wanted to display and really show off. I got Sunset Riders from a, a, a friend at Portland Retro. He charged me $200 for this one. 
I got Secret of Mana, of course, Secret of Evermore, Castlevania, Breath of Fire 1 and 2. Very happy to have those two. I've never actually owned Breath of Fire in any of my collections. Uh, then I got Legend of Zelda. Now, funny enough, this Legend of Zelda right here, I I got the box and the manual and the cardboard insert from another... So I sell at Portland Retro, and I sell duplicates at Portland Retro. Another seller, another vendor came up to me and he goes, Hey man, I really want this rock and roll racing on Super Nintendo. And I was like, okay, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, you know, I, I want to get rid of rock and roll racing on Super Nintendo. He goes, I'll trade you something. And he wanted like another game too. It wasn't just the one, but he wanted another game as well. So I said, what do you got? And he goes, well, can I trade you? And he traded me a Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past, Box and manual, and I had the car of course I had the cartridge, so I completed it. Illusion of Gaia, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, Super Mario Kart, Yoshi's Island, Street Fighters, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, that's a great game, and Joe and Mac right there. And then of course I got my NES. Mario, I'm gonna turn you off now because you're shiny. Okay, Mario's off. I got my NES. Um Nothing crazy rare, and you know, right here, you know, just some odds and ends. And I don't alphabetical order. I don't put my games in alphabetical order. People are like, "Oh, you gotta put your games in alphabetical order." I don't care. Okay, I kind of display what I, I want to display and show you know show them off, show off what I got. Uh, some complete box NES games. Got I've gotten quite a few of them. Uh, this is a mi really mint Super Mario Brothers two. Very mint. I got Legend of Zelda's Double Dragon Spot Yoshi Rygar, kind of all over the board on the. Um, NES, and then I got my another, way a ton more of Super Nintendo games. Now, how I got almost all these games complete in box, except for Sunset Riders and Secret of Mana, and all the and I got all these though, plus all the all these and all the all you know all those is I bought them from a guy for a lot of money. He was getting out of the hobby, and he wanted originally seventeen hundred dollars. For all his Super Nintendo games. Now, mind you, he has some good stuff. You know, Final Fight 2, Mystic Quest, Batman, Draken, Power Rangers, Wolverine, Earthworm Jim. You know, like that's a really, you know, nice copy of Earthworm Jim. Uh, look, here's Rock and Roll Racing. People are like, how could you trade away a good cartridge of Rock and Roll Racing? Well, this is why I got a complete box version of Rock and Roll Racing in mint condition. But people were like, you know, he's like, I want to sell all this and da 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 da. And I said, okay. He even had the Robocop Terminator with the, the big old, like, black hard case one NBA jam he also had those he didn't really I don't I, I didn't care about those really but he bought I bought them from him for like a, a lot of money uh, I'll just say it was thirteen hundred dollars uh it was an investment and I was able to sell a lot of the cartridges that I already had of these games so like a lot of these games right here and a lot of you know a couple of games up there I was able to sell a lot of those at Portland Retro and make a little bit of the money back. So it wasn't too big of a deal. That's Mario. He got the fingers up. So uh, here's some Wii U and Wii titles. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, I, I've been, you know, I've got, I've collected quite a bit of Wii U and Wii titles. I got the Shovel Knight collection right here. I got the original gold and the three pack. Uh, three pack was like thirty five dollars. It was kind of expensive, uh, but. You know, totally, totally worth it. Then I got my DS games, uh, Game Boy Advance. Uh, this is kind of like, just kind of like, right, like I said, like, not everything is fully organized. I mean, you know, eventually as the collection grows, things will change and things will maneuver. I got some mishmash, you know, long box, P you know, PS1. I got Sega CDS, Sonic CD back there. Streets of Rage, Paperboy, Chargers, um, some games back there. On PSP, uh, I got some um, Fire Emblem Amiibos, and I got a stack, and I mean a stack of, of PS1 demos. This guy just gave them to me, and it's kind of cool because like I remember playing a lot of these. Like you know, you get these in like Pizza Huts. Like here's an old Pizza Hut one, you know, and Game Shark, and oh here's Toys R Us, you know, a lot of PS1 demos of stuff, you know, and then of course. Um, Put those back. Let's move these real quick. Oh, hey, come on. Don't be like that. So this is also more NES games right here. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, be cool. NES games right here, of course. Uh, some of my rarer ones a little bit. I have uh, Fire and Ice on NES. 
also have uh, The Punisher. Pretty pretty violent game, actually, honestly, for a Nintendo title. Um, another rare game I bought, Contra Force. Uh, pretty, pretty rare. But, you know, nothing too crazy. You know, Metal Gear, Mario Brothers, and Contra. You know, of course, you got Contra. Then you've got your Batman. You know, but nothing... Nothing too crazy, but I, I, I keep those the rarer ones kind of concealed and hidden a little bit. And it, it just helps um, keep them from getting dusty and stuff like that. And you got your Roy, and then you got your Robin, and then you got your Lucenia. Come here, Lucenia. Come here. What are you doing? Hiding off. So that's it for this area. This is the media tower, though, that was $70, uh, $50. Bought it for 50 bucks. Then I stuck some command hooks right there. Command hooks are extremely handy, and I got some of my lanyards hanging up for Portland Retro. Uh, all the years I've gone, either as a vet, you know, as an exhibitor, aka vendor, or as an attendee, you know, um, got all of these right here, you know, and then I got a little area rug right here that says "Welcome." Uh, you know, I just put it there to kind of cover the wires, honestly, a little bit, and then I've got a, a Super Mario. With uh, Dr. Mario and Toe Jam and Earl. I bought these at uh, a swap meet from a guy who made them. And i got to fix that. Uh, he was selling them for, what was it, two for 20? And it was a really good deal. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll, I'll buy that. So, or no, two for 20 and you get a third one free or something like that. So if you buy two, you get a third one free. So I bought these two and I got Toe Jam and Earl for free. So and it's kind of cool. You got your NES, your SNES, and your Genesis. Kind of back in the day. Also, I recently picked up... Now, this was a little while ago, but... I picked up a Turtles in Time Arcade 1-Up machine. Um, you know, I can turn it on right now. There it goes. And then... Loading. Give that a second. Also, I picked up an Empire Strikes Back uh, poster for $5. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, you know, it works. It works great. It took me about an hour and a half, two hours to set up. Um... You know, it, it, you can lower the volume. Yeah, it's a little loud. It can, it can be. It can be really loud if you want it to be. So we got, we got my Resident Evil 6 poster right here. We got, there you go. You got two games. You got your Teenage Mutant Turtles regular, and you got your Turtles in Time. And Turtles in Time is very different, of course, if you played it back in the arcade days from the Super Nintendo version. Of course. Um, yeah, so there's, I got, I got this one. I'm going to get more. I'm going to get at least one more. I was thinking about the NBA Jam one or the Marvel Super Heroes one. NBA Jam comes out in June or July. Uh, I'm going to definitely hang some posters right here eventually. i got to fix that track lighting right there. It's kind of coming off, but I'm going to fix that. I, got, I know how to fix it. Uh, here is just some stuff. This is just a hodgepodge of stuff. This is the last issue of Nintendo Power that they ever made. You know, of course... Oh, hey, 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 don't fall down. Hey, it's not time to fall. I know you're trying to show yourself off to the camera here, but come on. But anyways, so that's the last issue that they made. Uh, of course, it's a, it's a, you know, it looks like the old one. But uh, yeah, I bought, I bought two issues of that actually, so I could open one and have one that was factory sealed. Of course, I got my, ba I got two bayonetas right there. I got this Star Wars thing for my mom and dad. It was kind of funny. And then I, I'm gonna turn that down real quick because I don't want to do it. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna be on, but no sound. Um, then I got you know more Star Wars stuff. I got a DeLorean Hot Wheels. My dad bought that for me as a gag one time, and he was just like, "Oh, it's a yeah, DeLorean time machine." I'm like, "Yeah, okay." Persona Five factory sealed still. Never played it. Uh, I bought the I you know if I want to play it, I'll just buy a loose disc version, of, like a, you know just a copy of it. Uncharted Four uh, PS4 edition. Uh, here's some PC games. I, I I don't play a lot of PC stuff. I used to, but then I kind of just. I, I, I just kind of got tired of it in a sense, so I was like, eh, okay. Um, I, I'm going to get another statue right here. I'm going to get a couple statues, possibly. This is a Geralt of Rivia wearing the, uh, I want to say, uh, it's the the bear armor, or the Matacore armor. I forget which. I bought it off of Amazon for like, I think, $60, $70. He was kind of expensive. He's really cool, though. He's really tall, too. He's like, you know, here's my hand, and, you know, he's a big guy. Um... But yeah, I'm going to get Triss, because I'm a Geralt Triss fan. Uh, sue me, I don't care. <laughs> but then um, I got some DVDs, Game Chasers, Mario, Hulk. Uh, I tried to, I'm going to try to put video games. So my idea eventually, and there's an Xbox 360. Uh, my idea is to put like 
stuff that's video game show related. I, yeah, I'm gonna get the Samurai Jack out of here eventually, but I'm gonna have like Mario and then Double Dragon, the animated show. If you guys remember that show, and then I'm gonna have like other shows and stuff and other movies. Like I want to get all the crappy video game movies on DVD. I want to get Mario Brothers. I want to get. Uh, Double Dragon, that horrible movie. If you ever watched it, a terrible movie. I want to get Street Fighter with Jean Claude Van Damme, of course, and stuff like that. So this is going to be kind of filled up with that, and of course I'm going to try to get more of the Game Chaser stuff as well. Then I got a PS2 over here with kind of all the all everything and a couple of memory cards that don't belong here. Funny enough, but I got the uh, this is the PS2 uh, modem, internet modem hookup. You know, if you ever saw that, it connects to the internet and everything. Got a multi tab. Uh, controllers, the console standing up. Of course, I adjusted the uh, P the PlayStation logo, as you can see, because you can actually turn it. I didn't, you know, I found that out. <laughs> then um, I have a Nest top loader I bought from uh, the store Game Trader that was going out of business. They sold me this top loader for like 60, 70 bucks with a dog bone controller and the hookups and everything. Uh, it was 60, 70 dollars. Can't remember what it was exactly, but good deal. And it works. They they showed they made sure you know showed me and it works. So awesome, love it, love to have a, a top loader. Never had one. Um, down here, super advantage, con, you know, uh, joystick controller. Do, 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 do. Got some board games. I'm gonna move, get them out of there eventually. Uh, this is nothing. I'm gonna throw that away eventually. Uh, some more PS2 random titles right here for whatever reason. This is gonna be like my Nintendo Power area. I'm hoping to fill this all up. Ignore the chest set. Uh, I'm hoping to fill this all up with Nintendo Powers eventually. And then there's strategy guides right here. I got the, uh, Dragon Age. The Dragon Age strategy guides are actually really cool. They have a lot of artwork in them, surprisingly. We got Tomb Raiders, Breath of Fire, Mortal Kombat. It's just kind of strategy guides I pick up randomly. You know, nothing nothing too crazy. Nothing too, you know, too you know astounding. Uh, so I've actually started getting into potentially buying vinyls. Uh, I got two right there. I got Rage Against the Machine and Korn. Um, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of those guys. And I got a record player, a vinyl, you know, record player. I got this on Amazon. I think I paid $70 or $80 for it. It's wired speakers. It was, it's really cool. Uh, I'm not going to hook, you know, I'm not going to set it up or anything like that, but it's, it's really cool. I enjoy it. I li Sometimes I come in here and read Nintendo Power and I listen to corner raging as a machine and it kind of pulls me back into like the 90s and you know and stuff like that or in early 2000s and of course i got corn and raging as the machine and then uh we'll just go across the top here that's an ocarina uh my brother my brother and my sister-in-law bought that for me for christmas and it's really cool you can actually play and it actually has a little i saw the box and it comes with like a box that has music notes you can try to play and stuff like that it's really cool Odin Sphere Collector's Edition. Uh, that's a G.I. Joe from the 1960s, 70s. Um, made by Hasbro. It's a really cool thing. Uh, I enjoy it. And my dad gave it to me. So, it's kind of, it's cool. Uh, Settlers of Catan. Heart. Love Letter. Uh, if you've ever played the game Love Letter, recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's really cheap, too. It's only like $10, $12. It's a good little party game. If you're like trying to have a mellow, chill party. Tron Control, my brother Daniel sold me. I never opened it, and neither did he. His girlfriend, or his wife, my sister-in-law, bought it for him, and he never never opened it. But it's a official collector's edition Tron controller. It's really cool. It's like, like metal. It's like magnet, magnetic. So, collector's edition. Ooh. Uh, there we go. Game Boy with the screen, the little thing fell off. I gotta get a new brick. And then, uh, let's see here. We got a Pokemon Stadium and Mario Party 2, uh, both complete in box. I never really... Got you know, got into you know, I I I, I I I'm trying to you know figure out you know if I collect in sixty four I'll collect you know I collect in sixty four but I'm not really hardcore into the boxed situation. So man, the Super Mario cereal if you guys remember that it was like a year or two ago and kind of kind of weird. Nino Kuni two this is the um, Steel Factory seal this is the. What is it? This is, this is the um, this is the premium edition. There was a col so there was a, a, a collector's edition. This is then there was a premium edition, which was this one, and then there was the regular game. So I got the premium edition for like eighty ninety dollars. The collector's edition was like a hundred and like fifty two hundred dollars. I forget what, but it was it was ridiculously expensive. Okay, and then let's see here. 
Um, this is the basketball card collection. Oh, comics. This is my basketball. Uh, there's, uh, you know, this is my old basketball. This is uh, ABA NBA basketball card collection. Uh, just me, uh, me and my dad are big into NBA and basketball. So I, I collect, I collected, and I still try to. I'm gonna still try to collect a few more. Here's my NES and SNES classic, of course. You know, you got to have the SNES and NES classic. Then I got the Legend of Zelda books. I got um, Hyrule Historia, Arts and Artifacts. This is the Breath of the Wild version uh, one, where you like, it's like a huge compendium of information about Breath of the Wild. These are all made by Dark Horse. And I got the the World of the Witcher. Very beautiful book. Shows a lot of art uh, behind it. I got the set of three books I've been meaning to read. Blood of Elves and stuff like that for the Witcher books. Attack on Titan. Of course, there's the albums. Then I got some VHS and some random hodgepodge stuff right there. Some boxes of Game Boy Advance games. Bought those Attack on Titan uh, Magna chapter books at uh, Swap Meet for like I think like two dollars a pop. It was ridiculous, like super cheap. Spider Man. Then I got you know Dark Event, some Marvel, you know, Hulk, Hulk, World War Hulk crap going on there. Then I got the uh, of course Batman uh, standee right here. I got the control deck right here, and then I got over. Uh, I think it's Overwatch. Yeah, it's Overwatch, and I got Breath of the Breath of the Wild. Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda, kind of cool, kind of like a little Legend of Zelda corner. Right here, eventually, is going to go um, a, another arcade cabinet, eventually. I got Simon, and I got Richter Belmont. I'm hoping to get another one to put in the middle right there. But uh, yeah, the Batman uh, standee. The control deck right here, I bought with a bundle of NES games for a grand total of $15. It was a, a huge fine. Guy was selling it on, on at on Facebook, and he was looking to get rid of it. His wife was pushing him to get rid of it, and he finally just said, okay, I'm going to sell it, and he sold it for $15 to me. It was, it was crazy. It was a ridiculous deal. Um, over here, we got the Time Crisis 2, and the Sega Genesis with the 32X combined. No no wires back there. I just threw, that, threw it together. Then I got the uh, huge collection of SNES games in here. This thing is full, fully loaded. Tons of stuff in here. Uh, I'm not going to go all throughout it, but it, you know, you got a ton of stuff. This is a Super Nintendo official holder for games. Uh, then I've got some Amiibos for Fire Emblem. Behind the Fire Emblem is a or Fire, the Fire Emblem is a complete in box zapper gun. I mean, this thing is so mint. The box is absolutely like it's brand new. It's literally brand new. Wii U box in the back right there. Genesis Mini. Um, Pretty cool to have. It's a cool little system. It's another one of the PS, you know, like the P the, the SNES Classic and the NES Classic. The Genesis Mini, I recommend it. It's really cool. It's got uh, what is it, forty built-in games, and yeah, forty classic games. And you have tons of good games in here. And that's why I recommend it to people all the time. You know, you got uh, Ghouls and uh, the Sega Genesis version of Ghouls and Ghosts. You got Golden Axe, Gunstar Heroes, Kid Chameleon. Uh, Beyond Oasis, Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra Hardcore is on this, Comic Zone, Mega Man Wily Wars, good way to get that. You got so a good chunk of Sonic games, Shinobi, Shining Force, uh, Street Fighter, Streets of Rage, Strider, Fantasy Stars, uh, Road Rash 2, uh, Thunder Force 3, a lot of shoot, a lot of, uh, finally they kind of included shmups, Earthworm Jim, you know, uh, it, it's a good, it's a good way to get some rare titles without having to buy them if you don't want to buy them. I got a NES action set right there. Got this from a guy plus like 10 games for like $100 from him. It was a great deal. Breath of the Wild Amiibos and of course the Champions. Enjoy the Champions. I got the Legend of Zelda uh, uh, the Ocarina Wielding 30th Anniversary uh, Edition. Got the Toon Link there with uh, Marth Fudge. Can't remember his name. They got Mario Paint back there. Mario Paint, complete in box. Kind of rough box, but what can you do? Metroid, Samus with the Metroid. This is my TV that I got. And then, oh yeah, I, I know what that red light is. I was like, what the hell is that red light? Uh, this is my TV, all the consoles, of course. This is the area rug I bought for $100. It's a 5x8 area rug. If anyone is interested, I'll, I'm going to link the company I bought it from down below in the description 
so you guys can potentially take a look. And they have a ton of different area rugs, too. You don't feel obligated just to get this one. I bought this one because it was I, I like this one. It's got Ness, all the Ness logos. You know, Metroids, Castlevanias, Contras, G.I. Joes, Jurassic, Battletoads, you know, Star Wars. It's just awesome. And Strider and stuff like that. And then I got my Cloud Amiibos and Snake. Also got Mario Brothers back there. Little Mario Brothers corner. Got N64 game holder. Full of games. Got a, I'm gonna, I am got to get a different Turok too. <laughs> that one's got writing on it. But yep, there we go. Then uh, got my Dealey. Here with all the GameCube, Wii U, Wii, X, you know, just a lot of stuff. GameCube's really a, a, one of my really good collections. Uh, I've got all the Resident Evils right here. Every single one on um, from Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, Code Veronica X, all of them right there. Ikaruga, of course, is really rare. Um, it's really good. It's a hard game. Really hard. Legend of Zelda. I'm only missing one more Legend of Zelda. I got. I even have the elusive, you know, Twilight Princess. Because it's hard to find these black label. I only collect black label as well, so that makes it even harder. Even got Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, and I got Bait and Kaidos is uh, now Origins and the uh, Eternal Wing White White Right one. So I got both of those. So Sonic Gems. Mario, X Men, Beautiful Joe, Star Foxes, got both Star Foxes, uh, Sonic Adventure, uh, DX Black Label, hard to find. It's actually a hard, hard to find. If you can, I don't know why. I always had trouble finding. it. I always find it uh, yellow, greatest, you know, greatest hits. But I got both of those. Pokemon Coliseum, Bomberman, Star Wars, Final Fantasy, just a lot of GameCube games. Pretty, pretty uncommon stuff. And then we're over here at the main hub of co the collection. Uh, I got a little Skyrim right there, and then Amiibos, of course. Like I said, Amiibos are kind of everywhere. I got a, the 3DS that was exclusive to Thanksgiving at one point in time. Uh, for Black Friday, I got Legend of Dragoon, Chrono Cross, Star Ocean, some DSs that I, I occasionally bust out. Amiibos. Dr. Mario. Then I got my PS... Here's like PS2, and here's like PS1, but like... PS2, I've got the Disguise, I got Shining Force. You know, these are all kind of like where I keep a lot of the JRPGs a little bit. But, you know, I, I have a lot of a lot of good games. Fatal Frames, got all the three Fatal Frames right there. Max Payne's, Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil. I still need to work on Resident Evil on the PS2, li on the PS2 library. Um, Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors. Uh, Got to get that sticker off, of course. Uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Kessens, you know. Uh, Ark the Lads, Xenosaga is missing episode three right here. I need episode three for Xenosaga. Got all the Soikinens, even in Soikinen uh, 5. 5. 5 is kind of a hard-to-find, rare game. Got that at P Portland Retro. Complete. Um, but yeah, glad to have it. Grandia 2 and Grandia 3. Got both of them now, finally. Got some fighting games right here. Mortal Kombat. All I'm missing from Mortal Kombat now on PS2 is Shaolin Monks. And I'll have them all. Gauntlets. World Heroes, Fatal Fury, Dragon Ball Z's, Soul Calibers, Dead or Alive, Metal Gear Solid, Grand Theft Autos, Devil May Cry's, you know, Mobile Suit. Starting to get into collecting Mobile Suit Gundam games. I got three of them right now. There's like, I think like five or six. So I got way more to go. PS1, um, definitely uh, one of my favorite ones to, of course, collect for. And, of course, it's all black label. You know, a little fuzzy right here, but we got Tomb Raiders right here, Crash Bandicoot's. Fighting Forces, Tekkens, Odyssey, um, Odyssey, Oddworld Odyssey, you know, Abe, whatever, Jesus. Uh, Bushido Blades, recommend Bushido Blade 2 if you've never played it. I got Breath of Fire 4 and Mega Man 8 right there. Mega Man X 4, 5, and 6. Mega Metal Gear Solid, Xeno Gears, Legend of Lagaya. And Spyros. Now, the reason why I have two Spyro Year of the Dragons, uh, people are like, why do you got two? Why do you always have two? Why do you got two of these? This one's factory sealed. So I wanted one I could play as well. So, you know, and I want to play it. Armament, uh, Sergeant's Heroes, and Armament Air Attack. Uh, very, you know, I love those. I love that series of 3DO. I wish 3DO was still around. Dino Crises, Final Fantasies, all the Final Fantasies, all of them. Tactics, Origins, Anthology, Chronicles, 7, 8, and 9, all of them. And then, let's see here. Then we've got Resident Evil, and we've got uh, 2, 3, and Survivor, but I don't have Resident Evil 1. And then we got Gex, and Gex under the get-go. I'm still missing the Gex deep cover or whatever. 
They got Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter. Once again, it's kind of like my fighting game area. Threads of Fate, very kind of uncommon game. But yeah, just looking around, you know, Vandal Hearts, Parasite Eve 1 and 2. I finally have both, Parasite Eve 1 and 2, Vampire Hunter D. And then we go down. This is kind of like the rare, like a lot of the rarer stuff on the bottom here. Ark the Lad, Collector's Edition, Valkyrie Profile, Diablo, Castlevania, Soikin in 2, Einhander, Dragon Sea, Grandia, Brave Fencer, Mawashi, Mega Man Legends. They had a Star Wars games just because I didn't have a place to put them. Tenchu and, you know, Bomberman World. Then we got, like, Discworld 2, Heart of Darkness, Invasion from Beyond, Medieval, of course. Silent Hill, that's Silent Hill right there. Saga Frontier 2. Rare game, or sort of rare game, kind of hard, just hard to find. Omega Boost, Dead or Alive, all three Twisted Metals, except I don't have the first one, because I want the first one black label, but of course the first one comes long box style, so I need to get that eventually. So, that's it for that, for Pia, so Sony, or for the, yeah, for the Sony guys. Uh, Sega, of course, I only collect complete and box Sega games usually, except I do get the Once in a Blue Moon loose cart stuff. Got all the Sonics, every single Sonic game that was ever kind of like done got them all complete in box Strider, Shinobi, Shining in the Darkness Fantasy Star 3, Mortal Kombat Street Fighters, Ghost, Ghouls and Ghosts Devil Dragon, kind of all over the place um, more just kind of generic stuff, got more right here and I got more right here, I even have a really rare game right now I picked up called Arrow Flash. got this for like $60 complete in box, it's a little the case is kind of rough, you know, not the best shape but Aeroflat, the cart, it's in really good shape, and it was $60, and it's kind of rare. It's kind of an uncommon game. You don't see it very often. Then I got my uh, SNES games. I've been playing a little bit of them, uh, but of course, Super Metroid, Mario RPG, Seven Saga. It's just kind of all over the board, of course. You know, I'm not, yeah, I don't, you know, everyone kind of has, you know, tons of stuff that, you know, this is just kind of whatever, you know, just going going through it. That game, this game sucks. Congo Caper, I, I don't like it. I played it, and I hated it. I don't know. I don't know. You might, some people might like it. I didn't like it. Some more. And I got N64. I got Smash Brothers, Legend of Zelda. I am like five games away from being done with N64. Not like, good, like I have a full set. Like, done with the games that I want to collect. Because I don't, you know, I don't want all the N64 games. I want games that I want. Uh, of course. But I got a lot of them. Harvest Moon, of course, right there. Uh, NFL Blitz Special Edition right here. This is actually kind of an uncommon game. This is uh, a Blockbuster exclusive. I got to clean that still a little bit. I, try, I tried cleaning that earlier, but this is an NFL, uh, NFL Blitz 2000. Uh, it's 2001, but it's Special Edition, and it was a Blockbuster exclusive that was released at Blockbuster only. As a rental, and then they were sold out, out. You know, of course, sold out when GameCube came out, and so these got out to the wild, of course. So I got this from a guy on. Let me think. Let me think. Where was it? Where was it? Uh, from Craigslist or face, Facebook or Craigslist, and he was like selling all of it, and I actually didn't know that this game was. I didn't know it was uncommon rare. I didn't know that. I kind of was like, "What's well, NFL Blitz Special Edition?" So I bought it because he had a, a. What else did he have? He had something else. I think he had Rampage or something. He, he had a game I wanted. And NFL 